coverage of the National Football League brings us to Northern California and Levi's Stadium in the South Bay in Santa Clara, California. Here comes DJ Dallas on the return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The break the huddle coming up now for first and 10. Here's the first carry for the pit product, James Conner. And tough running there. He's up to the 32. The big defensive tackle, Javon Hargrave, brings that one to an end. Second down and eight. Out of the gun, it's Murray. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. That one is batted away. Incomplete. No separation that time. Tightly defended. It brings up fourth down. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender, and you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete, but if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. And he's going to be brought down after a short return, and that's where his team will get possession of the football. He'll throw to begin with Purdy. He'll locate his tight end, George Kittle. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. So Kittle comes in motion. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Based on the routes downfield, it looked like the protection was designed to give the quarterback a little bit more time to wait for things to uncover downfield. So give credit up front to the defensive line. Immediate pressure early speeds up the quarterback's clock. He's got no choice than to get rid of it. Probably a little bit earlier than he would have preferred. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. The Cardinals offense ready to see the football for the second time. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. Working from the shotgun, it's Murray. He gets this complete to Michael Wilson. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Working out of the gun, Murray. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. You know, it's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this was one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and 
He's lucky that it just falls incomplete. He's got his man. It's Harrison. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. The only way the quarterback has time to allow that receiver to go that far to get open is if the big boys up front do their job. I mean, the protection was excellent. The quarterback had all the time in the world to let his wide receiver work open. And when you can pass protect like that, you're going to generate a lot of big plays. And he'll take this to about the 38-yard line. Linebacker Fred Warner brings him down. Here's second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Murray. A short one here, caught by McBride. Third and five. From the gun, it's Murray. That pass sideline is caught. Nice catch, stays in bounds, and he's got the first out. Terrific job with the feet to make that one a grab. That'll be a first down, a gain of 10. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Here's Murray. That's to the left side, taken in by Harrison. Here's second and three to go. Again, it's Murray. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. They couldn't quite connect there on that short pass, Mike, and I just think it's worth reminding everyone how different the concepts are down here in the red zone than what the rest of the game plan calls for in the normal part of the field. We'll try and run for this with Connor. And the Cardinals are going to be set up with a first and goal as they're able to convert there on third and three. Short game, down to the seven. Here now, second down, and goal. Murray now. He pulls it in around the five. Looking for a seam, but will not find one. He'll take this down to the four-yard line. Third and goal. Now Murray. That one taken in. Greg Dortch. Touchdown, Cardinal. Greg, I love the precision on that play. Very little time, very confined space, and they come through with the touchdown. And it's the accuracy of the throw, Mike, that protects his receiver. Everything down here near the goal line is so condensed. You understand you're going to be thrown into tight windows, but when you trust your quarterback to protect you with the ball placement, it gives you a lot more confidence going across the middle of the field, and in this case, pays off for a touchdown. nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air 
On the return, it's Ronnie Bell. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The 49ers offense ready for their second possession. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. So they come to the line for first down and 10. They'll run. This is Jordan Mason. And he'll move this forward out to the 29-yard line. Kaiser White able to make the tackle. Here's a second and nine. Shotgun snap to Purdy. He'll complete this one. That's Debo Samuel. First catch of the ball game for Debo. That's a first down. From the shotgun, it's Purdy. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. Purdy now on second down. That's taken in by Jennings. They'll get 19 out of that play. First down, 49ers. We are through one. The Cardinals have the early edge in this one. And we're back in the Bay Area after this. They'll motion over Samuel. Purdy going to put it up again. Right side, pulled in by Samuel. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike, and of course that's a given, but it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else. And I think both of those things were on display there as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. From the two now, here's second and goal. And that is not going to work out as planned. Maybe a tough spot to try to run a play like that. Either way, it's blown up back behind the line of scrimmage. It makes sense on second and goal, Mike, to keep this ball on the ground. You always have third down again to finally punch it in. But now after the defense forces you backwards, I think you have to consider putting this one in the air here on third and goal. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find a receiver, and down he goes. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. Moody's kick is good. And the Niners are on the board. It's 7-3. to three. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, 
You always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? Moody comes back on the field. After making the field goal, he's set to kick off. On the return, it's Dallas. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Cardinals offense ready to get back at it. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Here's Murray to throw. He'll look middle and finds McBride as tight end. And he'll mark him down just shy of the 40. So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. On the get, this is Connor. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Second down and three. Murray looking to throw. That's left side, and that's the tight end, McBride. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up a first down. Running here is Connor. Not a whole lot there as he'll work it down to the 46. Linebacker Fred Warner brings him down. Hook him up on a second down and eight. Murray. The open man is Wilson. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. Murray on third down. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five, but it will keep the drive going. Out of the gun, it's Murray. He'll get that complete to Harrison. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. Murray's going to throw again. That one incomplete. They can't hook up there. And that incompletion takes us to the two-minute warning. It's just a matter of time. I don't care how good you are or how good a hand you have. You are going to drop passes. It is inevitable in the NFL. But it's the guys that don't let one drop pass lead to two. They have the ability to put it behind them, move forward, and now you can't wait for that next ball to be thrown their way. Marvin Harrison Jr., the intended target. And it's going to be third down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, great, great separation downfield, 
But now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. On third down, Murray. That's caught by McGraw. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. They can still pick up a first down here, and they'll line up to go for it on fourth down. They'll run for it, and it's Connor. And that big offensive line, clearing space. He's in. James Connor. Touchdown, Arizona. Prater on to attempt the extra point. The kick is good. And the Cardinals extend their advantage to 14 to 3. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Here is Bell on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Here's the San Francisco offense, ready to take possession of the ball once more. They trail now 14-3, so an 11-point deficit as they start things out with first and 10. They'll put Ayuk in motion. On first and ten, it's Purdy. Open man is Samuel, complete. Here's second and six. From the gun, it's Purdy. Samuel brings this in along the sideline. So, first and ten here now at the 38. Purdy works out of the pistol. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. They'll try again here, second and ten. Here's Purdy again. That's into the hands of Jordan Mason. They need eight as they come up for third down. Again in the air for Purdy. Taking off, he'll try to get there. Now the Rams going to use the first of their timeouts. And they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go in this first half. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now. The punt for the second time, looking to pin the opponent back deep. Good hang time. The fair catch will be made back at their own 12. The Cards offense going to take over here in the last minute of this first half. This will start from the 12, trying to put a drive together here. It's first and 10. Working out of the gun, Murray. 
That's to the left side, taken in by Harrison. 13 yards to start that drive. And a quick first down. This is such a critical moment in the game, that middle four minutes, the final two minutes of the first half, and then the possession to come out of the halftime break. So maximizing this possession here before halftime is critical. See if you can get a drive starter. The pressure gets there, and down he goes back inside the 20-yard line. Fred Warner, the all-pro linebacker, shooting in there to bring him down. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play, and that's exactly what they did. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Cardinals out in front as we send you cross-country to the Sunshine State. That's where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports. Halftime report, all yours, Coach. Here is Bell on the return. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. 49ers offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. They'll start out first down and 10. So Kittle comes in motion. On the ground is Mason. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Out of the gun. It's Purdy. He runs with it. Good decision to take off. He gets 15 yards and a first down. The best quarterbacks, Mike, they have a clock in their head. They understand exactly how much time do they have before they start stressing the protection. He realized pretty quickly here it was time to go, tuck the ball, become a runner, and he's able to pick up a big game. First and ten. Purdy. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Sometimes it's those footsteps. I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at. When that defender's bearing down, you really get a good idea what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch. And in this case, what guys are unwilling. That's complete to Mason. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. What an advantage it brings a defense when you have cornerbacks that are such willing tacklers. It just brings an extra element to the ability to defend the entire field. And this is a great example here why. Here's a third and ten. Shotgun snap to Purdy. And that is incomplete. Great pass rushers live for third down, especially when they know the offense has to be one-dimensional. And this is a great example here, Mike. They can just pin their ears back and go. They know there is no threat for run. It is a must-pass situation. And for this offense, they're lucky it didn't result in a sack. And we will not have a return here. This one angle out of bounds. The Cardinals offense ready for their first possession of this second half. They'll do so with first and ten. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. They'll start this drive on the ground, and it's Connor. He looks forward for maybe a yard. The big defensive tackle, Javon Hargrave, brings that one to an end. Now a second down throw for Murray. 
That's caught by Harrison right side. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. From the shotgun, it's Murray. He'll try and get there on the ground. Give him 11 on the scramble and give them a new set of downs. These are the plays that are just crushing for a defense. Here you are, you think you're about to make a big stop, force fourth down and get the football back. But instead, you let the quarterback get loose. He picks up the first down with his legs. And now you got to defend a fresh set of downs. Murray now off the bootleg. And this time the rush gets home. And down he goes. Looked like a pass protection breakdown. They had five offensive linemen and a running back in the backfield. I promise you somebody was assigned to that linebacker, but he timed the blitz perfectly. He ran through and was able to bring him down for a big sack. Murray now on second down. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. Now Murray on third and long. He'll fire one deep for Harrison. That is incomplete. Well read that time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. The Niners offense about ready to take over once more. They'll begin with first and ten. To throw is Purdy. Looking to Samuel on the out route. And they're going to mark him down up past the 35. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. That lane closes quickly. A pickup of three. Kaiser White able to make the tackle. Second and seven. Out of the gun, here's Purdy. That ball incomplete. Got the hands in there to break it up. Could have been a big gainer. Instead, it sets up a third down. Pretty unforgettable performance so far in the first half, Mike. And they're going to try to figure this out here in the second half and try to gain some momentum. Figure out what's going to work, where are our matchups, and let's go try to put a drive together and get some points because so far this has been a struggle and they just cannot get anything going for the that's a pair of hookups on this drive. This one goes for 14 yards and a first down. Well, they finally are able to convert on a third down. And, Mike, when you look back at a box score, some of the biggest indications of how well the game went, of course, you don't want to turn the ball over. How do you execute in the red zone? And then how are you on third down? Third downs typically lead to long drives. Long drives tend to lead to points. Not a real complicated formula. Stay on the field. The more snaps, the more plays, the better.
They'll come up now for second down and four. Throwing again is Purdy. He'll find his open man. That's Brandon Ayuk. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Points have certainly been hard to come by in this one today, Mike, but it seems like this drive has been what they've been searching for. A little bit of rhythm, the ability to sustain. Now they got to finish. Now they got to capitalize on these first downs and go finish with six. Purdy going to put it up again. This throw left side caught by Kittle. He's taken down just shy of the 10. Give him 15 more on that one. They are on the move. It's a first down. So we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They can still get a first down at the one. First and 10, they go from the 11. They'll keep it on the ground. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. Throwing on second down is Purdy. He pulls it in around the five. And he will score. Game on. Touchdown, San Francisco. And this is just high-level quarterback play down here in the red zone. The way they teach them their progressions, Mike, it's touchdown, check down. You don't want to take a sack, and you certainly don't want to turn the ball over. He knows he has nothing down the field, nowhere to go to his receivers and tight ends. Check it down to your back. Let them do the rest after the catch, and it results in a touchdown. And he will get into the end zone. The two-point conversion is successful, and game on. Lead is down to three here in the fourth quarter. So they've cut into the lead. Now just a field goal behind as they kick it off. On the return, it's Dallas. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. Out comes the Arizona offense. They get ready for their next possession. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and 10. Gonna work Connor in the middle here. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. Murray now. Over the middle, it's Harrison. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Zone route running, Mike, is very simple, right? I mean, everyone wants to complicate offensive football and make it super technical. Once you come off the line of scrimmage after the ball is snapped and you know it's zone coverage, as long as it's sort of in the area the quarterback expects you to be, my rule was just run where they're not. And when he throws it, catch it. They nearly connected on the big play downfield, but he's not quite able to hold on to that ball through the contact. You can chalk that one up as a win defensively. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Murray will throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose. 
And forcing third down. I think that play probably results in a completion if that protection just holds up a little bit longer. It was that initial pressure in the face of the quarterback that forced him to get rid of that ball a little bit earlier than he wanted. Disrupts that timing, ruins the play. He's going to keep it himself. And they will finally track him down inside the 40-yard line. This is the point in the game, Mike, where on third down, you have to get off the field, and they do a great job. They defend everything in the pass routes, nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball, but they don't keep him in the pocket. They let him escape, picks up the first down with his legs. They're going to be able to run more time off the clock. They'll run it on first down with Connor, and he'll get about six there, setting up second down. Here's Murray to throw. That'll be taken in by Connor. And they're going to be set up right around the 10-yard line. You get so caught up defending all of these weapons all over the field, and it's sometimes really easy to forget about the back. And in this case, the quarterback does a nice job just dropping the ball off in his check down, and he lets him do the rest. So not quite first and goal. It's first and ten. They're pretty close. Working from the shotgun, it's Murray. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. the gun and they'll run it with Connor. He's going to lose yardage. How about the defense standing up in the red zone? They'll mark it at the 10. You know at this point the defense has to sell out and stop the run. You know exactly what the offense is trying to get accomplished by keeping the ball on the ground. But now the question remains are they willing to take some risk here and put the ball in the air on third down or do they play it safe and keep running the clock by keeping the ball on the ground? And he kept that play alive as long as he could, but the rush eventually gets to him and takes him down. Sometimes, Mike, your greatest strength can also be a little bit of your weakness. In this case, he is so used to being able to buy more time with his feet, extend the play, give his targets more time downfield to uncover. In this case, nothing materializes, tried to do too much, and as a result, takes a big loss. And this one, right down the middle. It's good. So it is still a one-score game, but a little more breathing room now. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Debo Samuel going to get a chance to return it. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The Niners offense starting to trot out for this next possession. The deficit, six points. So a touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drive. First and ten. From the gun, it's Purdy. That's taken in by Jennings. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second down and three. He'll run. And he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning.
Plenty of time. All three timeouts left. It's first and ten. They'll drop to throw. That's Ayuk with it on the left side. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. Here's first down. From the shotgun, it's Purdy. He'll get this out to his running back. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. I think the days where cornerbacks are either unwilling or unable to be involved in the run game, I think those days are over, Mike. I think when you look around the landscape of today's NFL, yes, you have to cover but you also have to be able to come up and tackle. On second down, Purdy. He'll go right and find his running back. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Here's Purdy again. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five, but it will keep the drive going. They'll throw again with Purdy thrown into a sea of bodies, but it's complete. Timeout 49ers. That is their second. As they get it right at the 30-second mark of this fourth quarter. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Again in the air for Purdy. The connection made to IU. And he's going to be taken down. The Niners will use their third and final timeout. And they stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Now, first and goal. Back to the air again is Purdy. And the rush gets there. Down he goes. Now after taking that loss on the sack, it changes your entire approach offensively. You go from playing for six to now everything is just about coming away with points. So it's a win for the visitors, the Cardinals. A bit of a surprise this one on paper. You figure this would have been a difficult assignment, trying to win away from home against a team of this caliber? No problems, though. They find a way to get it done. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody.